Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. Here is a very important recruitment notification from Orissa Hydro Power Corporation Limited. Okay, this recruitment is through GATE 2025 score dear students and this is available for electrical engineering students, civil engineering, mechanical engineering as well as instrumentation engineering. Okay, so let us see the notification. In order to see this notification, you have to go for ohpcltd.com. So this is the URL in that if you go to the careers page, so there you can find this recruitment notification or you can see here in the scrolling advertisement for recruitment to the post of GETs, GETs through GATE 2025. This is what is given here. Now, if you go into the careers page, the current openings, In the current openings, you can see advertisement for recruitment to the post of GETs through GATE 2025. Here, the advertisement related information is there, application form is there. So, first of all, let us see this application form here. So, this is an offline application form, dear students. You have to fill this application form offline and you have to send it. Okay, and you have to take a DD for the prescribed fees that is given. So here fill in capital letters and sign at the bottom of each page. That is what is given here. This is very important instruction. Post applied for, then name, first name, middle name, last name. Paste one recent passport size color photograph signed on the format. Do not staple or pin. That is what he is giving. You need to paste the passport size color photograph. Address for correspondence is given here. Contact telephone number or mobile number, email ID. Nearest railway station bus stand for mailing address mentioned above and state. Then date of birth as recorded in matriculation or equivalent certificate. That is what is given here. Date, month and year. Then age as on 1-5-2025. Years and months and days. That is what is given here. Then male or female you need to put a tick mark. Martial status also is given. Father's husband's name. So you can see category, domicile. Okay, then additional information, ex-servicemen, sportsmen, PWD category that all is given. Nationality, age relaxation claimed, exemption in fee claimed. So if S yes, you have to click on, you have to put a tick mark here. Then essential qualifications, exam passed or appeared, name of the institute and university, discipline subject, course duration, year and month of passing, percentage of marks up to two decimal points in aggregate that is what is given and here you have to give all the details of your educational qualification so 10th standard then plus one plus two and remaining all the things then details of gate score 2025 only gate 2025 score is valid dear students gate registration number exam paper gate score marks out of 100 all india rank in the paper then work experience, if it is there, you have to give the details of the work experience and how much you got the salary, okay, all those details you have to give. Particulars of demand draft, SC, ST and PWD candidates are exempted from the payment of fees. Name and address of the issuing bank, date of issue, amount, demand draft number. Then additional details, tick from the following activities to indicate in which one or all you can perform in Odia language, speak Odia, read Odia, write Odia. That is what he has given here. So tick from the following Odia language eligibility standards applicable. That details are given here, dear students. And finally, there is a declaration here. Okay, list of supporting documents. Whatever you are enclosing here, you have to give the list of enclosures one by one here and finally you have to attach them to this particular application form okay and each and every page you have to give the full signature of the candidate that is what is given here dear students kindly go through this application form carefully and fill it properly and send to the given address so let us see the advertisement in detail dear students okay so, advertisement number OHPC HQHR RECTT 1 slash 2025. So, this was dated on 31st May 2025, dear students. Start date for submission of application in offline mode 
and payment of application fee through DD. Okay, so start date is 6th June 2025 and last date for receipt of hard copy of applications in complete shape along with the enclosures. Okay, that is 5th July 2025. OHPC reserves the right to change the dates on account of administrative exigencies. That is what he is giving. So there is a right to change these things. Then here, Odia Hydro Power Corporation is an ISO 9001-2008, ISO 14001 standard company and having six power projects within the state and one interstate power project. OHPC is also promoting investment in renewable energy projects and various green energy projects. That is what he is saying. So they are recruiting through valid gate score 2025 graduate engineer trainees. So let us see the vacancy positions. GAT electrical. Electrical total 60 vacancies are there. Category wise vacancies for women candidates, how many vacancies are available? Everything is mentioned clearly here, dear students. Then for civil engineering, two vacancies are there. Mechanical, three vacancies. And instrumentation and control, two vacancies are there. So this is for unreserved candidates. For total, this you have civil two, mechanical four and instrumentation and control three vacancies total vacancies are these dear students so reservation of posts including reservation for women will be as per the ORV and the applicable acts and rules of government of Odisha PWD candidates whose disability is not less than 40 percent are required to attach disability certificate indicating percentage of disability and type of disability issued by the concerned <coughs> medical board for consideration as per rules then concession meant for SCST and SCBC by birth are admissible to the scheduled cash, scheduled tribes and socially and educationally backward classes of Odia state only. That is what is given here dear students. So these are valued for Odia state people only. Then sports persons are required to attach copy of sports identity card issued by the director of sports Odisha. So candidates belonging to BWD, ex-servicemen and sports shall Persons shall be adjusted against the categories to which they belong. That is what he is mentioning here. So you need to attach the required certificates here. OBC certificates will not be accepted in lieu of SCBC certificate. And candidates submitting OBC certificate are liable for rejection. Okay, this is important point dear students. Kindly go through that. Then related to type of disability he has given all the information. Kindly go through this information for whomever required here. Then essential qualification for graduate engineer trainee electrical, full time degree in electrical engineering, electrical and electronics engineering from recognized university or institution approved by AACT with a minimum of 60% marks in aggregate or AMIE in electrical engineering with minimum of 50% marks in aggregate. However, for SCST PWD candidates, the minimum percentage of marks required is 50% here. So 50% marks are required for SCST PWD for AMIE candidates 50% is required for BTEC candidates 60% is required corresponding gate paper electrical engineering paper code is double E that is what is given here GET civil the percentage marks remains the same civil engineering paper they have to write in gate 2025 so that score only is valid here for mechanical the percentages are same mechanical engineering gate paper is required for instrumentation and control iron gate paper is required dear students age limit minimum 21 years of age and maximum 32 years of age as on 1st may 2025 the upper age limit prescribed above relaxable by 5 years for candidates belonging to scst scbc women ex servicemen and by 10 years for pwds whose permanent disability is 40 percent or more so that is what is given here kindly go through this other eligibility conditions, the candidate must be a citizen of India. He, she must be able to read, write and speak Odia fluently. So this is important here, dear students. And must have passed middle school examination with Odia as a language here. Passed HSC or equivalent examination with Odia as a medium of examination in non-language subject. 
passed in Odia as a language subject in the final examination of class 7 from a school or educational institution recognized by government of Odisha or the central government. Passed a test in Odia <coughs> in Middle English School Standard conducted by School and Mass Education Department of Government of Odisha. So that is what he is giving here. So candidate who has more than one spouse living or in case of a woman candidate if married to a person having one spouse living shall not be eligible for the post unless the state government has exempted his her case from operation of this limitation for any good and sufficient reasons. The candidates must have a good moral character. Candidates who fill the prescribed eligibility criteria on the effective date may apply for the post. Okay. So during the training period, a stipend of 50,000 will be provided. So assistant manager grade will be provided and pay matrix is between 56,100 to 177,500. Initial basic pay is 56,100. That is what is giving here. So during the training period, GDT shall be paid the above consolidated stipend plus medical allowances at a fixed rate of rupees 200 per month. And an additional amount of 1000 rupees per month shall be paid to the trainees posted at BHEP, Balimela and UIHEP. So these are considered as remote area allowances dear students, 1000 rupees. Then training and probation, one year training will be there unless and otherwise extended. Okay. So one year training period will be there unless and otherwise extended. Okay. So try to go through this. During the training period, dear students, the selected GET candidate shall be required to execute a service agreement bond. Service agreement bond on non-judicial stamp paper to serve the corporation for a minimum period of three years, including the training period at the time of joining. The bond amount for GETs will be as follows. During training, first year 2,16,000, second year 1,50,000 and third year 90,000. So this is the bond that you have to execute dear students selection procedure candidates will be shortlisted out of the candidates applied based on the gate score marks out of 100 only there will be no personal interview no personal interview gate score of 2024 or prior is not valid okay only gate 2025 score is valid dear students then the shortlisted candidates will be called for document verification the list of eligible shortlisted candidates for document verification will be uploaded in the website of OHPC. No separate correspondence will be entertained in this regard. Okay. <coughs> that is what he is giving here. Kindly go through this. Then application fee and mode of payment. So non-refundable fees of 750 rupees only by demand draft only drawn in favor of Odisha Hydropower Corporation Limited payable at Bhuvaneshwar. The candidate is required to write his her name, date of birth and contact telephone mobile number on the reverse of the demand draft. Candidates belonging to SCST of Odisha only PWD candidates whose disability is not less than 40% are exempted from payment of application fees. Okay. So general information and instructions at present only offline applications are invited from the candidates who are having valid gate score 2025 from the for the post of GET. The shortlisted candidates on the basis of gate score only will be required to come with all the original certificates along with photocopies of all certificates and documents on prescribed date for document verification which will be intimated on a later date. Degree Certificate, Caste Certificate, Odia Test Pass Certificate, Discharge Certificate of Ex-Servicemen and Identity Card of Physically Handicapped Persons, Sports Persons must have been issued by the competent authority within the last date fixed for submission of online application form. A candidate found guilty of seeking support for his her candidature by offering illegal gratification or canvassing in any form or found indulging in any type of malpractice in course of the selection or otherwise shall, shall in addition to rendering himself herself liable to criminal prosecution. Okay. <coughs> Application submitted to OHPC if found to be incomplete in any respect are liable to rejection. So all these details are given dear students kindly go through this carefully. 
how to apply application in the prescribed format already i have shown you the format you have to take a printout of it in a4 size paper along with two recent passport size color photographs one to be signed on the front and pasted on the form and the other to be enclosed the application form has to be enclosed with the following documents 10th pass certificate and mark sheet 12th pass certificate mark sheet degree certificate and degree mark sheet in support of essential qualification of copy of gate scorecard 2025 and gate 2025 registration acknowledgement certificate in support of your caste if you belong to SCST, SCBC category then physically handicapped certificate so discharge certificate in case of ex servicemen sports certificate experience certificate odia language passing certificate if applicable <coughs> a non refundable account payee demand draft for rupees 750 not applicable for SCST and PWD drawn in favor of Odisha Hydro Power Corporation Limited payable at Bhuvaneshwar. The candidate is required to write his name or her name, date of birth and contact telephone mobile number on the reverse of the demand draft. That is what is mentioned here dear students. The filled in application form along with the enclosures are applicable as applicable shall be sent by ordinary post only in an envelope superscribing application for the post of GET as applicable to Chief General Manager Odisha Hydro Power Corporation Limited OHPC Corp Corporate Office Boinagar Janpath Bhuvaneshwar 751-022 so as to reach honor before 5th July 2025 okay so applications by any mode will be rejected outright that is what he is saying so kindly go through all these things dear students so if you have any problem they have given the details of mobile number and a email address so during the working time only you have to call them 10 am to 5 30 pm okay so this is about the notification dear students before 5th july the filled in application form should reach the required authority that is given here dear students you have to send it by ordinary post only okay thank you all the very best